is for Andy Wardle, who's like him. Um, he's a wild camper again. You're the guy that texts us all the time. From the top of some mountain or in a tent. In the freezing cold or the pouring rain. He's in a Chevy at Mounds tonight. Yep. Chevy. Back out. After the sky trip and all the climbing, you'd think I'd be fit. I'm not like. Crease. Yahoo! Ooh, we're him. Aye, he gets the unfortunate. And I get the short straw. I need to pull the short straw and mm. come out with me. Could have been with Kaza, but he come instead. Just took Kaza's gear and went. Uh. She's left in the house. I'm wondering what happened. <laughs> Alright, so we're going from the car park down there. Gotta get the finger in. Oh, there's Cold Law up the back of there. Broad Struther. Um, we're heading up onto. The back of this is Scald Hill. This is not Scald Hill, it's up behind it. It's a big big end. Yeah, it's quite big like. So we'll go up on it there. That's Hedgehope. Um Langley Crags. Langley Housey. Housey oh, Crags. Long Crag or something. Craggy Crags. Craggy Craggy son. Lots of cows about, but they're all fenced in, so that's alright. They didn't look very happy. Got away from the wasp. Oh, there was a manic wasp. <laughs> Cheviot wasp. It was after we. It's hilarious. Couldn't get any camera in time. That would have been comedy gold. <laughs> Running around like little girls. Scampering around in your bare feet. So anyway, nice day. No rain forecast. Although it's looking a bit overcast, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's, uh -huh. it's meant to be sunshine all day. It's hot though. There's a nice cool breeze as well, which is just right. Keep them midges off. Because one of us has forgot his midgy hat. And it's not Mark. Virginia. It's me. Virginia. Well equipped. Oh, no. Foxies. Fox on the run. Yeah, foxy gloves in it. Uh, fox gloves. Random. Dig digitalis. Random poison. A couple of fox gloves in the middle of the burnt off heather. Poison them, like. Uh, anyway, so we're going to crack on. When we get up the top, we're uh, hoping to get on to achieve it. Hopefully. That's how it happens. We should make it this time, because on either way. Um, we were going to go from South Hope Farm, but that's like another hour's drive from where we're parked. So we just thought we'd come this way. It might be steeper, but we want to get back tomorrow for the match. And we'll be walking too long tomorrow. Right, we'll push on anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Public right away. Public access. Uh, explain yourself. <laughs> I right. forgot to bring me bolt cutters. Uh, it passes that diddy crowbar. But I mean, there's obviously been a problem because look, it's got one of them on. Eh? Right. Aye. It's got your normal lock on. Problem with idiots leaving the nuts open the wrong way. I can't hang it. I'm filming it for comedy purposes. So many idiots. People going up that path there, which I've been up before, because that leads you up to the top of Broad Hope, which is where I camped up there somewhere. When I abandoned my attempt at the Cheviot, when it was too horrible, the weather was awful. Like That's right? yeah, busy this year, like, right? there's a lot of people around. Normally, don't see anybody. I've seen anybody for about 10 years coming up here. Luckily, they're going that way, like, but we've done a canny hike so far. We're at about 500 metres now. Uh, that's definitely cold law. Because you can uh, tell the trigs, the trigs all the way at the far end, isn't it? Cold law there. Let's see if we can see that trick point. Ooh. It's a, it's a, it's I'll put it on a tripod to keep it steady, I can't let it move. Ah, uh, yeah, you can just figure it. <laughs> it's hard when it's not on a tripod. But yeah, edge up there. We're nearly height of hedge up. The wind's picking up a bit. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm gonna go up Skull Hill and then we'll see the Cheviot from the top of there. Oh, so we've got to uh, the top of Skull Hill. Up there, that's Skull Hill. 
No, nothing to see up there, like. Nothing, isn't it? Hedgehogs over there. And now we've just got this little bit left here. This is the hard bit, like. Um, up that path at the side. Uh, I've lost my blooming wind muff off the top of the <laughs> flipping camera, so it may be a bit windy. This. <laughs> so this is the TV in front of us here. So we're going to go to the top there, get along the summit, and have a look about. And then we're going to go over to the right, head towards Ocho Bridge and Cane Hill, and look for that camping pitch that Nick was telling me about, Northern Wayfarer. We didn't come your South Hope Farm where we, we took a man's route. Because <laughs> we're hard. Well, he was with child, running. not he? Aye, she did better than us. I oh, know, aye. Eh? <laughs> running up it. She wasn't stopping every five minutes. I know, too much energy. God, I need a pop pie. Right, so we'll just crack on and we'll see what's at the top. It should be windy though. It's, kind of, it's getting windy here. Yeah. 25 mile an hour gust forecast up there. Oh, it was 21. Yeah. 20 anyway. Gusts. Gusts. Alright. We'll find somewhere. If you're wondering where Simon Cowell gets his haircuts <laughs> ideas from, that's it. We're just at the bottom of the tribute. The last bit of path up there. According to the map, it's just at the top. What? It, according to the map, it's just at the top there, you know. It's not like but it looks, it doesn't look that high, does it? I would go as far as to say it looks easy. That's Henshaw up there, that looks a lot higher than what we are here. But it's 100 metres lower. We're going to get a fright on at the top. It's going to go up again, it has to. Anyway, we've got no energy to get up there. Oh, how's it going? It's hard, isn't it? Hard work. Steep. But well, it's just this last little bit. Yeah, there's not far to go. And then we'll be rocking and rolling there. This is a shorter way, like. It couldn't, couldn't be a nicer day. Lovely day. It's not big and hot, but it's just nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at head chop, man. Ah, uh, it's getting smaller. Yeah. Boosh. Pretty hell. We're rising above it. See how it's it's a view. Decent view, isn't it? It's amazing, Mike. You know what it's all about? What is it all about? It's all about damn views. Eee! Get me. I do. So here we are. We're on the flat bit of the tube right now. Done all the hard work. Really hard work, wasn't it? But we're up anyway. Yeah. The wires, like. All right, they've put it. Uh, there's the summit. Look. Summit K and I, they've put a nice path in. The style was right back there. Path, county path, like. All the way. I think it never used to be here, the path, so it was all like that. That would be a nightmare. But now the path's here, it takes you all the way up to the trick. And there's somebody there walking to it. Boosh. It's gonna beat us. So we're just walking on the path. Not too bad, this is not a bad way to come up. It was steep at the end there, but it wasn't that long. There we go. Top of the Jubiate. Eventually. That would be the right conditions. I can imagine being horrendous up here. It's bad weather. So, we'll just tap that. Tap out. Yep. Tap out, and then we're going to find somewhere to pitch. Just got there at the right time. It's, look at it, it's mobbed. <laughs> Popular area, they've come up this way, we're going down now, we're going towards Cairn Hill now to try and find the, the wild camping pitch. It's better off the top, it won't be as windy. But anyway, we've touched the trig point of the TV. We've both, been, this is a both of us first time up, aye? It's right on my doorstep, first time up. You know what I'm annoyed about? Sorry. Not one of them lot recognised, either of <laughs> us two. <laughs> so the car is broke. So the GV Summit. Apparently it's th three quarters of a mile that way. We've trekked three quarters of a flipping <laughs> mile back. We've got to go all the way back tomorrow. Just to find this blooming camp spot. Uh, like, 
well, it's, a foot, it's a public footpath. You get lost. Why? You got, you, you got, you, we're plotted on the view range yeah, first. We'll have a look, have a look on the map. There, we'll have a look on the map. We're going to have a look in this shelter. Over the stile. Jump over the knobby. Nobbies everywhere. Oh. Gun on, son. Being laid out. Spot on, like. Excellent. Let's get these there. Uh, let's get some bait. So, some cans out Mr. Today. Stoker has a new friend. Well, this happened. Sitting on his bag. Look at him. He's lapping it up. You're nuts. What are you doing up there? Is it comfy? It might be actually nicer than on his feet. Yeah, it yeah. probably is, yeah. yeah. His paws might be so. You funny little dog. So, we've <laughs> got to the top of the tube yet. I don't know if you can hear through the wind. And we've found a lot of these. We think they're snozberries, but uh, we need them identifying. Because they look tasty. Tasty. Definitely breezy. Oh, it's windy, aye. We're just looking for a pitch. Cotton grass. We're going to be sitting in there tonight, drinking beers. We just had a visit off three people. One lady was. Absolutely shattered. She's got a blister beginning as well. And the mates were like, oh, I'll be out of it when I <laughs> hate it when that happens. But tomorrow we're going to go down this way, follow the fence down, down round through the valley, bop my head up through that valley. It'll take with a Langleyford, three and a half miles, just to something new. So we'll do that tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to just find somewhere to pitch and then get set up. Still only quarter to five at night. Still a bit of hell. Off this cotton grass. Plenty of beer. So, if we look out here, that's where we're pitched. I've got a really comfortable spot. That grass is lovely and spongy. I don't think you need to matter. This, this looks quite flat. That's it. Good spot. And then we can just nip into the shelter. Keep out the wind. Oh, yeah. It can make out the chief its summit is like just about here. Three quarters of a mile away. I'm gonna get this set up finished off and we're gonna get onto the beers. Oosh. So here we are in the shelter, oh, Monsieur Stoker. It's lively. It is lively. I think it's because it's warm. It's because we've shook it up. Well, it'll be that as well, like. Walking up the hills. What have you opened, though? I've opened a can of whoop ass by Beer Bibliotheque. That's the same as the, um, what was the funny beer name that you had? You've got your finger over the. What was the funny beer name you had? Mordish Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop I can't really, I can't really judge that at the minute because it looks like ice cream. Right, go and try it. It's got a lively head on it. How many fingers? Whew. That's tart. It is, isn't it? it? That's really nice. Stone the crows are just nice. Just nice. I don't get much orange peel, mind. I'm getting the fruit, but yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It says orange peel on it. It's more like orange juice in it. That needs to settle down, doesn't it? Settle down now. I feel like sticking my hand in and just fl scooping it all out and flicking it at you. Just get your nose in, man. Your big witch's I nose. Need to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a picture for me untapped. Yeah. Nate, right, we'll come back after. I could do with you not being in it. We'll do the rest. <laughs> So there he is, 
cook one is D. What, what you got? I've got a nice tin of chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka from Morrison's. Yeah. Then I'm going to whack some rice, some peel or rice in. Nice. Smells lovely. It's about three million calories. Exactly, Loads of chicken, you know. Exactly what you need just Loads before you get to bed. Well, I'm not going to bed yet, like. Well, I'm going to have uh, another beer. Yeah, I'm going to have a beer after I've had this. I'm going to have a a can of summer. This is lovely. We had this last year. In the woods. And we never found it again, did we? In Kielder. Right, Kielder. Never found it again. Obviously they just brew it in the summer, didn't they? Yeah. So we'll have that. It's just watermelon and just lovely. Uh, watch this disaster unfold here. <laughs> as soon as I left it. Uh, I've got Craig, Craig Charles on the radio. It's a lovely night. It's probably that a little bit, a little bit too windy, but kind of really complain. It's dry at least. Banging. It's banging. New stove. MSR. Uh, Wind Pro 2. Put in a bag. It's one of them ones where you can invert the gas canister, like. You can invert it and you get more power. More power! So that's good if you're running out of gas, if it's low, you can regulate it better as well. Actually, I'm just not there. It sounds like it's going to turn it off. turn it down a bit. So you actually can't turn it right down. You can turn it down to a really little simmer. It's gone out, like. <laughs> oh, I don't need it on it, but I'm going to have uh, a nice fillet steak and some mushrooms because Mr. The Stoker has made us very hungry after polishing his off. I'm done, right? Yeah. Done. Okay, so that's my new stove, MSR Wind Pro. I've got that off a lad called Carl. If you're watching this, cheers, Carl. It's very good. Very nice. Watch his drop it. Got his bib on. Bit pink in the middle. Lovely. Does look good that mate. Look at that. Oh. Look at them mushies. Enjoying that mate? Nice setting for it though, isn't it? Perfect. Might that be too windy? Nah, be alright. It is elegant. Right, it's what time is it now? About quarter to ten or something? Twenty-two, quarter to ten. Ten to ten. It's actually cowboy time. Uh, that's where we tents are. The moon is up there. Mr. Stoker, how are you doing? Hey. He's in the shelter of terror. I'm just keep me jet mode under control. <laughs> hey, he knows the wind's gone. It's still a little bit, but it's, yeah, it's not like it was before. Just chilling like a villain. Shoes off. Beer's on. The beer is on. Sunset's on. Triple IPA later. <laughs> Triple IPA, man. And we're just uh, time lapsing the sunset. Stunning up here, mate. There's a little fly just landing on the camera. Get it lush. Oh, it's this is what you want every time lush. you come camping. This is what, in your head, when you think you're coming camping, this is what you think, isn't it? This is girt lush. You get this like 1% of the time. I think if we weren't in this shallow, we'd be a bit fed up, like. Well, you know, be in the tents, man. I'd be in your tent. Loitering. Loitering. Yeah. Wind's gone. It's very light. It's probably perfect that wind just to keep the little creatures away, you know. It's absolutely spot on here now, like we're time lapsing by the uh now we got it. Finger post. Sat on a, a shower seating arrangement. Yeah, we're sat on planks of wood. It's 
my little cushion, my yeah. hat, <laughs> sitting on my hat. Yeah. Mr. Stalker. Socks and a hat. He's sitting on his socks and his hat. To stop the piles. It's actually not bad with the socks and the hat, like. To stop the pee less. I mean, I haven't really got much in the old house department anyway, like, so. We've completely taken over this place, like, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Chills. Horrible dolphins. Horrible dolphins on the radio. Mm. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to that fence, rest my camera on the fence, and try and zoom in on that. Ooh, it's a bit hazy, though, it's a bit hazy. So I might not get the proper effect, but I'll have a gun anyway. So let's see what I get. What time is it now, Like It is. It is. Check the time. 20 to 11. 20 to 11, all right. Yeah. And you might think we're sitting in a dusky little place, but it's actually really light. Look at ridiculous. The sky's still blue and all. You can see everything. I can still see Billy Blythe down there. Like. Right. And like, over there, the farm. You can see yeah. the farm islands from here. Yeah, you can see everything. Mad. Crazy. 20 to 11. And you've got the mad sunset over there, which is still going down. Mm. This is cracking this like, isn't it? What a spot. What a spot. This is the best camp for a long time. Oh, definitely. So, Anyway, how's your beer going down? We oh, haven't done any reviews, have we? Well, I chose not to have my last beer. Because... No, the light's not it's on. Not coming on. It's picking us up, though, isn't it? Aye. It's obviously not dark enough, is it? I've, I've, I've took the decision not <laughs> to have this. And what's it called? Because this is a... It's a... 11%. It's released once a year. And it's an 11% triple IPA. And I can't taste Jack. He's lost his sinuses again. So me, Everything's gone. So, because I can taste Jack... And he decided to have his. Here it is here. That's all he's got left out of this can. Because Stoker I am a, well, well, kicked well, well, me can over. Shut up, man. Smashed it off the ground. I'd love to know how I did that with no shoes on. Right, so actually what happened was <laughs> I was sitting here. So in your mind. The, the glass was there full. It was full. And you I sort four of... pounds worth of beer in. <laughs> so I turned around and I just caught it with my hand like that and knocked it flying. <laughs> so that's all he's got left. And it was away. And there's the... Uh, look, I'll be, I'm going to lick that bit of wood later. In fact... Licking wood? Yeah. So that's all I've got left of that £6.45 can. That's about quid's worth in there. It's 11% <laughs> beer that's only out once a year. I'm good at it! I hate taste? everything! Taste. Oh, it's nice, like. Really nice. What do you think? But... I will kill anybody who gets in my way. I cannot believe how calm it's gone. Oh yeah, the wind, by the way, has totally gone. And because it's this time of night, the midges are knocked off, haven't it's they? not even a breath. Yeah, they've gone to bed. Listen. Listen to that. Fantastic, folks. Fantastic go. Absolutely fantastic, folks. <laughs> right, so we're going to just... Uh, Polish off the whiskey and then shut up. Bed. Can't have bed. Oh, I like the lights on now. Blinding. It's not picking you up though. I might have to get myself a new camera. Zoom in. You're in darkness. You're in silhouette. Pure darkness. Yeah. Well, because there's light behind though, isn't it? Right. You know what I mean? If I pass it here, if I put it on you I with the light on. Not the way I'm looking. Yeah. Your little like a bloody like a bacon. And put it on me. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. From this distance, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah, from there, because you've got to lay right in your fizz on. Look at that, man. Look at that behind. Look at that behind. <laughs> My behind is sore. Like... So... It's... Man, I've got piles, like. Carrie's going to have to sort us out. Like you got splinters as well. Splintery piles. Splinters in your piles. Splintery bum grapes. So what you can do is, right, you can pull your splinters out. Tweeze them. And push your piles in. Yeah. It'll be out and in. In and out. Boosh. <laughs> 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 yes. 
Yes. <laughs> Curry, get the rubber gloves ready. <laughs> Is it me? Got the moon. Morning, campers. Heidi, hi. No, nothing. Well, we've walked up to this. It's 6.20, actually. Half past six in the morning. I've been up since half five, like. Cannot sleep because it's so bright. Missed the sun sunrise by an hour, you know. Half past four, the sun came up. Ridiculous. What's it doing? Why isn't that a lie in? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna pack up and get off. We're gonna go down. I think I've already mentioned this. Down that way. I <laughs> Probably have like. <laughs> so you go off the side of here, follow that fence, and apparently you pick up a valley track in between Hedge Hope and the TV, and it's a little valley back down to the car, all the way, follow the river. Should be nice. Alright, pack it up. That's my stove, by the way. That's it all in there. Windshield, everything. It's light as a feather. And it just, it just packs in here. Brand new, you know. Used it a few times, but very happy. Little pillow, tiny little pillow packs away to melt. Oh, it's very comfortable that pillow. Not cheap though. It's the only problem with stuff in it. it. Just costs a blooming fortune, man. Spend a fortune to live like a tramp. All right, switch off. Come back on the way down. That's it. <coughs> Just be flattened grass. A bit of flat grass. Nothing. He's off. We're off. Doing the track. Not knowing where it's going to lead. You don't get many days like this up here. Not a breath of wind. <coughs> Lovely, really nice, very enjoyable. The achieve it. Done. Done and dusted. My birds. Well, we've come a mile from the top, we've come all the way down this valley here. We crossed this river about 20 times. <laughs> Good job, it's uh, just a stream trickle. We've still got two miles to go, two, two and a bit miles to go. It's just barely make out the path. It's like this part, but in places it's just vanishing like. But you can sort of make it out. Whew! Let's achieve it up there, and back of there. Oh, sweating. Look at that sky. At least we're not climbing high. It's a canny little path. Here it comes. Playing catch up. Look at the face on it. Stream. So we followed the, the Heart Hope Burn. We passed Heart Hope Lynn, but we didn't see it, did we? No, found, didn't a good, see a thing. found a good place to camp. Didn't see a thing. But it's just an absolutely gorgeous day, isn't it? Really, really hot. <laughs> Sweltering. <laughs> can, I, can, can I handle it, like? <laughs> Hate the heat, me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. We're well hydrated in the. Well, we're nearly back of the car, really. So I think we'll leave it there, eh? in this little woody bit, woody bit. Peace out, see you later. Boosh. Catch you on the next one.
which might be about six months time or something. He's never out, like, he's not allowed to come out. He's been banned from playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> 